What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. I'm super pumped today because I'm here with my friend Janine. You'll see her in a moment. We are both personal trainers at Fit Nation in Bossier City and it's been quite a few years since I've had my body fat tested. Welcome back to Fitness Empowerment by Danny, a brand dedicated to flexible nutrition, macronutrient tracking, and a lifestyle without unhealthy extremes. And she graciously uh, said she would take the calipers and do the skin full test in the seven different sites to uh, help me out and kind of get me an idea of where I am. Hopefully I'll start um, prepping for the next bodybuilding season in the next month or so. So it's kind of be cool to have a starting point. Um, so she's gonna explain a little bit about uh, the calipers and where the seven different sites are in case you wanna go ahead and get your body fat tested um, by maybe a local personal trainer that's closer to you than um, if you don't live in Bossier City, Louisiana. So. I am Janine. Um, we're going to do a seven site measurement today. Um, the sum of the skin folds, we will add it to up together. What determines what the body fat actually is, is the sum of the folds, whether you're a man or woman, and what your age is. Okay? The first uh, caliper uh, pinch we're going to do is we're going to start everything first on the right side of the body. I'm going to have Miss Dandy turn her back to y'all. We're going to start with the subscalcular, which is what we normally do is have you put your hand behind the back and what that will do is you want to get just below the shoulder blade it's a diagonal fold and I'm going to have you drop your arm back down your side and that kind of settles the fold into when you get five millimeters and you don't want to hold the um, go to compress or hold the body fat um, very long because it will compress and um, also you want to get in where your calipers are at the base of the skin fold or halfway between the base and the end of the skin fold. Awesome. Okay. It's her subscapula. The next thing we're going to do is the back of her arm is halfway between the opium process and the chromium. I'll spell those out. <laughs> between here and here, you get right behind, have kind of tense the arm up, that pulls the muscle away, have the arm relax. And then you pull, and again, get the calipers halfway between the end and the base of the skin fold. Okay, you turn this way with me, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is you wanna find the lower half of the sternum on your client. You're gonna bring it around. It's going to be, oh yeah, here. It's gonna be a vertical fold. And again, you don't wanna compress for too very long, okay? Next, we're gonna do the chest. Right here, if you couldn't see. <laughs> And you get right foot wherever this, because everyone's different torso lengthwise. So you get right below the lowest part of the sternum, and that's when you carry it over and do your, your uh, vertical skin fold. Okay. Next, we're going to do the chest. Um, women have more body fat here. So, men, what we're going to do is halfway between the shoulder, actually, halfway between right here and the nipple line, will be where you get the man. Okay? A lady, you'll get a little further up just because there's not going to be as much body fat. Okay? It's a diagonal pinch. You get the pinch, you have them tense up their chest, and then relax completely. And I just do it two or three times real quickly just to get an average. Now, since it's, it's almost noon, does it matter if, like, is it, would you get better or different results if you did it first thing in the morning before you had anything to eat or drink versus, you know, after working out or food? Good question. If you do, if you do this, you would do before you work out because there's fluid in your skin, and most of the excess body fat in the body is under the skin or subcutaneous. So definitely before you work out. Okay, so ideally I should have done this probably five or six hours ago. I didn't actually lift today, but I did have a yoga class this morning and I did um, some walking cardio incline on the treadmill, so I could have some different results if I had done it earlier in the day, but this is just for funsies and to kind of just get a baseline. So. Yeah, just so before okay. you do cardio, especially before you sweat profusely so you don't have a food in your skin. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you. All right. Next, you want to get uh, right above the um, hip bone here and you want to stay to the side. This is going to be the superlium, okay? You want to stay to the side because if you come around more, you're going to get more of the abdominal fat. We'll deal with that one next. <laughs> so we're going to get right above the hip bone here. Diagonal and fold, you're on the side or at the side. We'll have to show you guys the arrow lines on the actual caliper that she's talking about lining up. So when you pinch this arrow here, as you get the body fat, will come up and line up here. And this is your reading up here, your millimeter reading. Awesome. Okay, belly button. 
And once again, everything is done on the right side of the body. Okay, the next thing, the last thing, it's best to have someone wear a jog bra, by the way, and bike shorts or loose pants like this are fine. Uh, sometimes it's hard to grab if they've got very tight clothes on, so loose shorts is best to get to the skin, okay? So, she, like she's doing, she's putting all her weight on her left leg and she's got her right leg relaxed. Halfway between your inguinal fold and the hip and the knee is when you're gonna get your pinch. And usually this is the one you're gonna really grab onto with most people. Yeah, I did not wear the right pants for this. <laughs> and there we go. And there are your seven points. Awesome. And then, so how would you go about taking these numbers and determining the body fat percentage from that? You add up all seven numbers. You take the sum of the skin folds and you have a chart basically. It's almost like um, uh, a chart where you go have the age of the, some of the skin folds over here and the age across the top and you just kind of draw it together. You get the sum, the age, and it gives you the actual percentage of the body fat. Cool. I will put my numbers on the screen for you guys. Um, the very small <laughs> numbers I got, by the way. Well, it's been a long time training to make sure that I'm maintaining here, so I think I'm in a, a good place to start for dieting down. Hopefully, and it's a good place to have it. Uh, good, good to have it done initially, and then every four to six weeks after that, and it makes you accountable, makes your clients accountable. Check with their nutrition if they're not seeing the results they want to, and they're working out real hard. It's probably their nutrition, but they really don't want to rely on their scale weight as much. How that what this is doing, the actual body fat and their girth measurements, and I highly recommend you measure their waist and their hips, mm -hmm. at least those two areas, especially female wise. Yeah. And uh, waist actually and hips with men, especially with the waist, because that's where they tend to hold it. Awesome, yeah, that's that's super awesome. And you guys, if you're not you know, if you don't want to do, you know, measure by stepping on the scale or if that's just not enough for you or if, you know, you're not seeing any differences with uh, clothing sizes or you don't want to spend the money to go get something done like a bod pod or a DEXA scan, which can be really expensive and kind of hard to find if you don't have like a, like a medical lab or a research facility around you, then finding a personal trainer that has calipers at your gym or the, the closest local gym is probably, probably the best way to get some really accurate measurements. So... Thank you so much, Janine. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, me too. It was fun. Yay! And now, hopefully, I'll be able to help. I'm not letting her do me. <laughs> I'll do this on some other folks in the future. I'll talk to you guys later. Be empowered to make a change in your life and take the next step on your health and fitness journey.